Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will show you how can inner join two of this database table in Laravel. For doing this, I need to create two database table. Right now, that is our database and here I already created one of the table as an employee. So for now, I want to create another two database table. Like first of all, I want to create one of the database table as a order. Okay, I just name it as a order. And for that order, I just define as a file. I just take one of the five column and now click on the go. Now here, first of all, I just define as an ID. So that is actually one field. And then I just define as a order date, order underscore date. Okay, so this type of one of the field. And also I just added one of the foreign key with the another table, like I just define as a user underscore ID on particular disposition and then here I just define another field as the amount and then I just define another field as the status okay I just define as a status and right now for the ID I just make the things as a auto incremented and then I just make the things as a primary I just click on the go and now for the order date so order date so that will be actually showing the date for the reasons I just define as a uh, time spent okay and for the user ID, I just define as the integer, that is the amount. So for the amount, I just define as a worker. And in status, I just put that things as defined. So I just want to do that work. Like I by default, it will be as a one or zero. Okay, whatever you want. So for now, that is actually the one of the condition I just want to apply on here. One will be the order is complete and zero will be the order is not complete. Okay, so this type of things for the reasons I just define as a one for right now. And for the worker here, we have to add some of the length on particular dispositions. Right now, I just define as a 50. And now click on the save. And now click on the OK. And now, first of all, here I want to do, I want to insert some of the demo data. Like here, I just defining one of the insert. And here, first of all, there is actually order date. So I just define as a current date on particular disposition. And also that is user ID. For the user ID, I just define as a Right now, I just define as a one, okay. And amount, I just define as a 10,000 or 1,000 better. And status, I just define as a one, okay. Add, rather than I want to add another one, like here, I just define as a user as a one. And amount, I just define on particular disposition as a 500. And for the status, I just define as a zero. So education purpose, I am actually adding two of these on particular this area, rather than if you want to add new one, like here, you have to define that new one like I just take another one and into this position I just define status as a one and then the user ID so here I is defining as a two user ID and into this position I just define as a 15 and then okay so now here I just define three of this table so here there is a one demo data there is a one ID user ID and there is a two, two user ID and amount is this one and if you want to add set some of the date like here i just set some of the date as a previous date okay so on particular disposition i just defining it and now click on the go and now if you go to the browse and here you can see i just defining as the id 123 is automatically implemented that is the order date and here all that user id is visible on to this position and then the amount and also the status and here I want to do that type of work like the status one will be the that is actually already paid that means order is confirmed and zero is not paid okay so this type of things and now I want to create another table so go to our database area and here I just create another table as the user and for the user table here I just defining column as a four now click on the go and into this position I want to do like first of all that will be the ID okay so that will be the ID and then I just define the name and then I also define the email. Okay, I just define the email and phone number. So for education purpose, I am here adding the four field rather than you can also add create another one. So now for the name, I just defining as a barker email. I just defining as a barker phone. I also defining as a barker and on particular disposition, I just defining as a length. So here I also defining the length and for the ID, I just make the things as a auto incremented and primary. Okay, I hope you can well understand about it. And now I just click on the save. 
So here it presented the valid plan. So better I just make that this is a text. Okay, and I click on the save. And into this position, I also want to insert some of the demo data. Like first of all, there is an ID will be automatically incremented. The name, text name, I is defining as a Kazi. And I just put the email address as a Kazi at the rate gmail.com. And also for the phone number, edition purpose, I'm using all the demo text number. Okay. And also I just want to insert another demo data for the Aryan. And here I just put that email address as the Aryan at the rate gmail.com. And then phone number. So here I just define some of the demo phone number. And click on the go. And now if you click on the browse, and here you see I just defining one of the demo data as a name Kazi and then Aryan, the email address and the phone number. So now here we have the two database table like here I already created one of the another table. So here I created already another table as order. So that is our order and that is another table that is actually user. Okay, I created two of this table. Now I want to show you how can actually inner join two of this table like there is order table and that is the user table. How can inner join two of this database table. So in this video, I will show you that things with the live example. So here, first of all, I want to create one of the route for this one. Like if you go to the web and here I want to create another route. So I just better copy it. And here I just create another one. And here I just name it as a joining. So here I just defining as a joining and in our DB controller here, I will create one of the method right now. I just defining as a joining. Okay. So this this method I have to create in our this controller that means the DB controller. So here I want to create it. So into this position I just defining as a public, and then the function, and then our method name. So here I just defining that method name, and here I want to do I want to actually get all that order by the user name so that is the actually add another id and here all the user details on particular disposition and there is an act one table and all that orders and here you can see there is the id that is the order date then these that is actually the user id and this user id one means if you go here you can see there is actually the id and each id means the kazi okay so here i just want to inner join two of these like this id will be equal to our that user id Okay, so that is a one user ID. There is another two user ID. Two user ID means actually uh, this one that is actually the RDF. Okay, so how can inner join two of this table? So for doing this, first of all, here you have to do uh, like first of all, I just take one of the variable as a result. And here I just defining as a DB. And then I just define the table. And into this position, first of all, I have to define our table name. So here, our table on particular this position, there is actually the order table. And this order table, this field, that means this user ID will be equal to our another table. Like here, that is, it will be equal to our this ID. Okay, that means user table ID. So how can do that work? I will show you. So for now, I just define that our table name. And into this position, I just defining that table. And now we have to do, we have to inner join two of these. So for doing this here, I have to add the chaining method. So like here, I just defining one of the chaining method on here. I already discussed about that things with you, how can create the chaining method. So here I just define the join, okay. And here I defining the join with uh, another table. So our another table on particular disposition as a user. So here I just want to join with this table. For now, I just define that table name first. And then what? Then I want to do, I want to actually uh, join in our, this table, this ID, that means this field will be equal to our, this table, this field. Okay, I hope you can well understand about it. So for the reasons, first of all, here I just defining that user and then ID. So here I just take, first of all, as a uh, user, and then I just added the field. So in our user table, so that is actually the field as an ID. So it should be equal. So here I just defining it. Uh, like here I just defining it as equal. And here I have to define then our another table. So I just define that another table 
and so it's this id will be equal with our order table that is this table with this field that is the user id okay so for now i just defining it as a order dot our another field as a user underscore id underscore id okay so here i just defining it hope you can well understand about it what exactly the things i want to do on particular disposition like first of all i just added our order table and here i just joined with another table as the user table so into the user table they have also one of the field as the id so if you go here that is our user table and this id so this id will be equal to our there is the another table as a order and here there is another field as a user id okay so that will be the equal for the reasons i just defining it as a equal order table and there is a another field in our order table as a user id so that's two of this will be the equal then here i want to do i want to get all that results for the reasons i just defining another method chaining on here and i just define the gate get means i want to get all the data now i want to print it okay like here i want to print it with the dd so here i just defining as a dd and in particular that position i want to do print it so here that is actually our result variable so here i just print it okay so now let's check this out what exactly the result he display so here i already created one of the url as a joining so now if you go to this position and now I want to access that joining and click on the enter. And now here you can see it's now showing as a three. So into this position, if you go here, you can see. So that is actually our all that user details is now on particular disposition. And also there is another table, there is an order table. So two of these now actually become combined. So here you can see that's all that combined result is now visible on particular disposition. And now here, if you want to select some of the specific column, okay, so how can visible it? So for doing this, you I have to do, I have to add another method chaining on here. So after this, so here I just defining as a select. Okay, select and which field you want to display. So first of all, here I just defining as a, like I want to display in our user table, like here user table name, so that field I want to display. So for the reasons I have to define that user and then dot the name. So I just want to display it. And also I want to display uh, like in our order here, I want to display the order amount. I want to display the order ID. Okay, that means order table ID field and also order table amount field. And also there is a order date. So that's the three I want to display from here. And I want to display one that is brings the name from here. So how can do that work for doing this like here I have to do I have to define then order table so here I just defining as order order table and then I just defining the field name as an ID and also I defining another as an order table dot amount field okay so here I just defining as the amount field on particular disposition and also I want to define another field so another field is an order date so i just also define the order okay order and then our another field is order underscore date so here i just defining it and now let's check this out and now if you click on the save all like here i just defining as a save all and if you now refresh that page like here i refresh it now there is a three and if you go here and now if you open yes you can see that is actually our user table that is actually the name field so here i just defining as a user table that is a name field for the reasons is now visible on here and also there is the id order id is now visible amount is now visible and the order date so this three field is now comes from our order table like here i just defining order table id order table amount and order table that is actually the order date so in our this table that means order table so that is all that field is now visible and now it's perfectly selected all that field okay so that is another one so that is another one so i hope you can well understand about it how can actually in a joint two of this table and display that all the data and now also if you want to display like here if you go to that order table like here i just defining one of that field as the status and one is for that means that actually the paid and zero is for not paid 
So if you want to show that a status, then how can do that work? Like here, I just defining field name as a status. Okay, so it's pretty much simple. Like here, I just take another chaining. So I just take another chain method as where. Okay, where and then you have to define your field name. So our field name is a status. And here I just defining as a right now. I just want to show that zero. Okay, that means all that zero is field status will be visible. For now, here they have one zero, so that is actually one. So for now, I just define as a zero. And if you now click on the save all, and if you now go here and refresh it, now you can see it's now showing as a only one. So here there is only one as a Kazi, so that is actually amount is 500. So here you can see that the amount is 500 and that the user ID is one. So now showing as a zero status all that value. And if you also want to display that one status value, like here you have to define as a one. So for that one in our database, they have the two data. So if you click on the save all and if you now refresh that page, now you can see there actually the two data. So that is actually one and there is another one that is your one. Okay. So I hope you can well understand about it. Like here, there is actually the two status data. So for the reasons is now outputting that is equal to data. Okay. So that's how you can actually in a join to of this database table. I hope it's very much clear to you. So we will apply all the things in our real project. For now, that is as I told you, it is actually the basic things. So for first of all, I just want to share with you all that basic. Then I will apply in our project. So in our next video, I will discuss about how can create the model. Okay, so how can create the model in Laravel and how the things exactly work. I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.